Got Arklo in the Sycamore. You could have trained him up to the Breeders' Cup. Why'd you want to get another race in him? Just kind of see where we are with him. Um, he's been training well. Just kind of thought it was two months between races with the Kentucky Downs and the uh, Breeders' Cup. And kind of looked at the race in Canada today. Um, just kind of thought, just keep him home, ship him 60 miles as opposed to eight hours. And just kind of thought, you know, going to the Breeders' Cup as good as we can get him. How uh, has he come out of that last race? Really good. He's very really well at Churchill. Uh, he had a really good race yesterday morning, um, training well. So uh, he's, he's had a good summer, good fall. Is he better now than he was earlier in the year? Yeah, I think he's matured. And, and you know, he's a horse I think that could even get better next year as a four-year-old or five-year-old. Uh, always kind of thought all along with his pedigree and the way he's made. Big, long, tall horse that uh, he could get better with age. Broke his maiden here, did he? Or was he it did, He did. He yeah. broke his maiden with Javier Castellano. Very good maiden race here in the spring of last year, about a year and a half. Uh, running style, uh, how would you prefer him uh, to be? He's, he's a little tough to get a line off. Lawrence rode him several times, and he's, to this day, kind of still trying to figure him out exactly what he wants to do. We thought at Kentucky Downs he would lay a little closer than he did. Kind of found it. He just broke a little slow and found himself pretty much last. He kind of had to encourage him to keep him to get up, you know, somewhat into the race, and um, he, he responded well that day, so we don't want to change too much, but he, he's, he kind of didn't do whatever. Two back at, Kentucky, or at Ellis Park, he was up close, speed was really good that day, so he, you know, he's, he's, he's a versatile horse. He can do a couple different ways of getting the job done.